Hello everyone, I'm Argamowicz, and we are now in part four, part four of five of my mega tutorial. And um, in the first part we learned how to set everything up in B-Road, and the second part was kind of like some in-betweens, which we will need for this one. So if you haven't seen that second part, be sure to see that second part. It's going to show you how to export um, your clothing for layering, which is what we're going to do in this one. The last one we learned, uh, that I hate Blender, but you know, whatever. We did accessories and we added bones to the accessories. Uh, and in this one, as I said, we're going to, um, layer clothes. Um, so in the last one, we also needed to have the VRM importer. So make sure you have that goddamn shit. And I import my, uh, the jacket first, the one I'm not going to use first, because I want to get rid of the armature. I want to get rid of basically uh, also get rid of the camera and lighting. We don't need that shit. Uh, so I get rid of the armature. Just, just not, you know, just right click delete. Just get rid of that shit. The face we're gonna get rid of. Just fucking get rid of it. Delete. Secondary. We're gonna get rid of. Hairs we're gonna get rid of. Just delete. Delete, delete. Um, and then we have the body, which we could rename to jacket or angel or whatever. And you should always rename your shit. So don't use the same ones. It's terrible. Um, so we're gonna do a couple of things on here. First we're gonna clean up these goddamn edges. Look at these jagged edges. It's fine, but we can clean them up. So we're gonna just select the jacket and go into edit mode. And at this point I just click outside of the area in order to deselect. And then I hit C, which will allow you to select the things. And I select the points that I want to get rid of. I, uh, right mouse button to, uh, get out of that mode. And then I just hit delete. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other goddamn side. I hit um, C and then I select what I want and then I right click to deselect, to D de out of the select tool and then um, uh, delete the, the things. Yeah, so when I hit delete here, you can see how a chunk of that uh, thing went away and I just, uh, you know, undo. Control Z, and then I made sure not to uh, mess with these two. Because, like, there you can see I moved it around, and you can see exactly how, like, how funky it was. Uh, keep in mind that the reason I didn't voiceover while working on this, which is what I usually do during tutorials, is because I spent uh, somewhere between 15 to 20 hours on this, and oh my god. <laughs> it just, it just no. Anyways. I go through and clean up my edges um, the best of my ability because you know, you know, make it look good, man. Why not? It'll just take a few extra minutes. It's fine. So at this point, uh, we're going to have to adjust these uh, ver vertices groups for yes, uh, vertex groups, vertex groups. So if you uh, click on it and then click on the uh, little upside down triangle, you're gonna see all these uh, groups, right? And wait, you're gonna need to be in, um, I wanna say edit mode. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're going to select on one and hit um, like select, right? And that's going to show you everything that that's attached to on that particular bone. So for example, on the hip bone, by hitting select, you can see that all this is selected. And if I want something that's uh, not attached on there, I just hit C and then I select the extras and then I assign it to that bone. And then once I'm done and I'm happy with it, I uh, lock it in place. If I want to remove something from it, like here, I hit C and then I use uh, the middle mouse button to deselect things I don't want selected. Uh, and then, um, well, I deselect everything that I want to stay there. So like these parts here, I didn't want there. So what I did is I left those selected and then I did remove from that particular bone. Um, so it might be a little confusing here, but what I'm basically going through is each one and, uh, adjusting uh, where I want things to attach. So like this is upper chest. I don't, is that upper chest? 
Yeah, so this is upper chest. So what I did is I deselected all of the actual upper chest. So anything that was on the arms, uh, I kept highlighted and then I hit remove so it was no longer attached to the upper chest. Um, also, I selected all of the neck piece and then I assigned it to the upper chest because I'm going to eventually remove that from the head so it doesn't deform when the head is moving. And then once I'm satisfied with, you know, I can hit select or deselect. Um, if I hit select, I can see everything that's selected on that bone or yeah, on that joint. Um, and it lets lets me know like, yeah, that's good. That's this, this works. This is fine. Um, and then I lock it. So this is the neck one and don't mind. I actually hit the wrong button. Um, and I am just, you know, just, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with this one cause I'm going to end up deleting it. Um, I rem end up removing it and, uh, cause I don't want it like attached to the neck at all or the head. And I gotta make sure I lock every ones, all the ones that I want. Yeah, and you see how this is on the head. You know how like when you move your head about, sometimes it deforms a little bit, uh, like collars and stuff, makes it a bit of a pain. This is a way to kind of fix that if you're uh, want to bring it over into Blender. Um, I had to do this with Mel's work. This was explained to me a few times by Obsidian, who learned it from. Jeffy, I want to say. Um, yeah, it was such a pain in the ass to do, to learn. <laughs> um, but basically I'm doing all this now because when I add in my model, I don't want to have to worry about my model being in the way. Um, also I recommend saving. I think I saved after I got all this situated, but I go through each and every one of these um, to the different parts of it. Also like the bottom of the jacket, I didn't want bending with the legs. So I deattached it from the legs as well. Um, so it was only coming off the hips. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of speed through this a little bit. All right, now we're going to um, import VRM and we're gonna import like the pending VRM that we had already done the blend shapes on. Uh, remember to do those first because it might mess up. Uh, now I'm gonna select the um, Angel Jacket um, and I'm going to just scale it up a little bit so it's a little bit bigger because I kind of wanted it more oversized. Um, and if you're doing this for your own model and you just want layered clothes and you're not doing like the, the flipping between things, uh, what you're going to want to do is um, adjust meshes accordingly. Like when I did coffee is one of the uh, schoolgirls, uh, the sleeves showed through the haori sleeves. So I had to go in and adjust the mesh on that. Um, or you can just erase it and you don't have to worry about it. But since I wanted the jacket to be able to come on and off, then you know, you have to be a little bit more careful. Um, and again, like for this one, I wanted it very bulky. I wanted it like big and flowy and whatever. And I didn't care if it clipped through. Like I honestly didn't care because we were going to get rid of, um, we're only going to use one at a time. So for me, it wasn't a big deal. Once you get everything uh, situated to where you want it to be, what you're going to want to do is go into object mode and then you're going to select the, the jacket uh, and anything else that you want to attach to the body. Make sure you select the body last. So you're going to, uh, you know, grab it and then you're going to shift click um, the, the body um, and then you're going to hit uh, control J to join the two. So it's going to merge them together. And once you join them, you can't undo this. So. All right, so uh, you gra grab the bones, go into pose mode, and then if you grab it, you can hit R to kind of rotate and just see that it's moving with the body, and that's good. Um, and then you just kind of like right click out and it should reset it. Um, and you can uh, test the different areas to make sure things aren't attached to where you don't want them attached. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's 
that's pretty much it for like layering clothes and attaching it for this particular thing or even adjusting like um having things like morph weirdly like that hand morphed a little weird with the um sleeve but i actually i'm okay with that um so at this point you know i just go back into object mode and then i export the vrm and uh yeah we are ready to move into the uh final uh stage the final unity stage where we apply all this bullshit together and it is kind of a hefty um it's a hefty thing but you know we're gonna get to it it's it's uh there's a lot going on in the next tutorial in the final tutorial uh but anyways thank you guys so much for joining me if this has helped you out um uh, if you want to see where this is going, give a like, subscribe. If you want to see more content from me, subscribe. If you want to see me over on Twitch, I'm over on Twitch. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you have any questions that involve Blender, Google it. Just Google it. Um, or if you really want, you can go over to my Vroid Discord. There's some people there who know Blender stuff, but it has to involve Vroid stuff. I'm not just doing random fucking goddamn Blender. To, you know, fuck that shit. Fuck Blender. <laughs> We're done with Blender. Burn it.